when we analyze the scriptures and think of it spiritually, we can see the bigger picture and the greatness of the kingdom, how it's going to be. But we still just have a little inkling. We really don't have the fullness. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom of heaven. So what do you think is going to come with the kingdom of heaven? Many benefits. So we have no clue or idea what the kingdom of heaven is going to be like. Specifically, we just have ideas. Some brothers have a better imagination than others. They may be able to draw certain things based off of what we read in scriptures. But to actually grasp the actual glory of it, it would be like the Apostle Paul trying to explain the spiritual realm. Where he said it wasn't law for me and there were not enough words to express the magnificence and the beauty of the spirit world. You see? So we can only speak on carnal things and imagination that we may have of how the kingdom is going to be. But the greatness of it, the glory of it, we don't know yet until it actually comes. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. We're going to be lords. We're royalty. We're going to have the allodial title. We're going to have the rights of the land, of the home, you know, of our wives, our children, you know, our slaves, our properties, you know, our cattle, so on and so forth. We're not going to be subjected to our payments anymore. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit.